In this video I'm going to talk about C-Rate. What is it and why it's important to know about it. I'm Nick and my mission is to make solar power understandable to everyone. We know that a battery has a lot of ratings. We have nominal voltage, internal resistance, amp hours, voltage, watt hours and many more. We also have C-Rate. C-Rate is a number that tells you about how fast you can charge and discharge a battery. Typically, the C-Rate is displayed as C followed by a number, like C20. It can also be shown as a C with a number behind it, like 0.05C. This can cause some confusion, which I will explain more in the next slide. The battery capacity in amper hours is used as C. Let's take an example for a lead acid battery. If you have a battery rated for C20, you divide the amp hours of the battery by 20. For example, we have a battery of 100 amper hours with a C rate of 20. Then we can charge and discharge the battery at 5 amps. If we use another example for lithium at 1C discharge, we multiply the battery capacity by 1. We can now charge and discharge the battery at 100 amps. This table will make it easier to understand. We can see that C rate can be listed as 20C or C20. If the number is in front of the C, then you multiply it with the battery capacity. If it's after the number, you divide it by the battery capacity. You say 0.05C or C20. They are both the same. If we use the 5C in this table, we must multiply the battery capacity in amp hours by 5. We can see that the charging and discharging currents can be 500 amps, but only for 12 minutes. After that, the battery will have a 0% state of charge. This is not possible in solar power applications, because no battery can provide this amount of current. These high C rates are commonly used in batteries for drones or lithium titanate. If you look at a more realistic example for a lead acid battery of C20 or 0.05C, we can see that the battery can supply 5 amps for 20 hours before it's completely drained. In theory, that would only last 10 hours because we don't want to drain a lead acid battery to a 0% state of charge. Lead acid and lithium batteries have different C rates. Lithium is capable of a higher charging and discharging current than lead acid. This is because the internal resistance in lithium batteries is very low. Let's compare two popular batteries. Battleborne lithium batteries have a charging C rate of 0.5C or C2 and a discharging rate of 1C. The lead acid battery has a C rate of C20. The battery management system or BMS in the lithium battery will shut down the battery when a high current is drawn. A lead acid battery doesn't have this protection. Therefore you need to do your calculations before buying a lead acid battery. If we have a lead acid battery of 100 amp hours, we can use the rate capacity at 0.05C or C20. So if we were to power a 1000 watt appliance through an inverter, we could draw 83 amps at 12 volts. Using the formula, we can see that we need 16 batteries to supply this 83 amps of current to achieve the rated battery capacity. Of course, we can use fewer batteries, but then the discharge current of each battery is higher. We don't have this problem with lithium, because they have a higher charge and discharging currents. If we go higher than the rated C rate for lead acid, we will reduce the battery capacity. Let's take a look at this graph from a popular lead acid battery. We can see that the battery capacity in amp hours is reduced when the C rate rises. This is because there is more heat generation and more internal resistance. The battery will become less efficient. This is important in sizing your system. 
Make sure you check the charge and discharge C rate of your batteries before buying them. Lithium has higher C rates than lead acids. Lithium batteries have a built-in battery management system to shut down the battery if high currents are being drawn. A lithium battery is capable of providing a surge current of 2C for a few seconds, depending on the chemistry. I hope this video shed some more light on C rates for solar power. If you liked the video, please click the like button, consider subscribing and if you want to learn more about off-grid solar power, check out my book on the subject.